What's going on guys, Sergeant Ruby here, and today I'm bringing you a little bit of domination on grid. I'm using the MPL with Rapid Fire, Perks as always, Flash Jacket Pro, Slight Hand Pro, Tap Mask Pro, and yeah, this is the gameplay that I was talking about in my uh, 50 and 8 PM63 on launch commentary. Um, this match came after a pretty depressing loss. I mean, the guys that we were playing before this match were... You know, they were really slapdash in, in domination. The problem was, I was only running in a team of three at the time, and the randoms on our team were absolutely uh, pretty damn shocking. Um, in the previous game, there was a guy that was running around with an MPL that was, you know, just being a dick, basically, just being a total, complete ass. And there was, I had a feeling that he was doing something that he shouldn't be doing, but never mind. My suspicions about people cheating are, obviously there are going to be people cheating, but the likelihood is that half the time when I think they're cheating, they're really not. It's just the connection or, you know, they are actually good and better than me. So, you know, when I think people are cheating, it's more often than not than actually not cheating so yeah um, yeah the guy was running around using an MPL and basically he just pissed me, pissed me off so much that I was like in the lobby I was just like right I'm gonna set up my MPL class and I'm gonna shove my MPL up where the sun don't shine unfortunately the guy left before you know I could execute my plan in the MPL sticking so I took it out on his unfortunate ex-teammates, which was amazing for me, and now will be amazing for you. There is a little bit of bullshit in here um, with the dual pythons. I was actually feeling really jumpy in this match um, after the horrendous loss that we had just suffered. Suffered, sorry, not suffered. Um, yeah, I was feeling really jumpy, and uh, like I said in my PM63 commentary. There's the uh, dual pythons. I actually watched this kill cam. Yeah, like I said in my PM63 commentary, I was co doing shout outs and call outs um, pretty much every second like a man possessed. And that actually really helped out my team. And it helped me out a great deal as well. Because when I got, you know, absolutely amazingly pissed off, I could feel my reflexes were going up. I could feel, you know, the adrenaline going through my body. And. Uh, I would take. I was taking um, a lot more risks than I, I normally would if I was, you know, just playing normally. So when I get really pissed off, I, I actually find I play a lot better than if I wasn't getting, you know, pissed off and I was complacent in my playing ab ability and playing style at that point in time. Uh, that is a prime reason why you shouldn't chase in Call of Duty. If you get a couple of shots into someone, don't chase them, because chances are <laughs> they'll be waiting for you around the corner, like I was for that guy. Anyway, uh, nice use of a dolphin dive there, and I'm desperately looking for a new gun, which it seems to be a common occurrence in these videos. Um, I'm always looking for a new gun. I pick up my fallen teammates uh, org with red dot, I think. Um, it's almost out of ammo. Uh, really sloppy with that that little kill and once again I'm almost out of ammo so this is a pretty nice kill pretty long shot luckily I saw his muzzle flash and where the bullets were coming from so it was easy for me to pinpoint his location and then take him out now I'm looking for another gun again um, hopefully <laughs> I'm just running around now just looking for people to kill and uh, luckily I get one here take his org there was, a, there was actually a lot of orgs in this uh, in this gameplay. Now, using my SR-71 and my minimap, I was able to you know pinpoint where the enemy is going to be and get a couple nice kills. That nade should have probably killed that guy. I'm I'm, I'm going to be honest. He was using uh, Ghost, not Flat Jacket or whatever. But whatever, I I take him down anyway calling my dogs and now I have two Hueys that I can potentially call in 
and rain down hellfire and brimstone on. I'm, I've sped up both choppers. Um, I called them in simultaneously, um, which you know it was. Well, I really don't want to call in one and then wait um, until you know I either get another one or whatever. Because uh, right now I've got all, all the kill streaks that I can get, and I'm just bringing it to him. Pick up this guy's uh, silence golio. I don't get a chance to use it. Here are the two sped up Hueys. Don't really get too many kills with them. Ooh, excuse me. Fucking hell. Um, yeah, I don't really get too many kills with them. But um, I actually get killed during the second second Huey incident. So I probably should have moved after I called in my first one. But, you know, live and let learn, basically. Um, now I've just got to uh, take it to the enemy. That means I am about 38 and 2. Yeah, about 38 and 2. Now I'm 38 and 3. So now I've got a chance to, you know, bring it up to 40 and do what I can to... Well, 37, actually. Now it's 38. We're trying to calculate all these things because I know I end up with 40. But, yeah, this one's just about to wrap up. Got two more kills coming in. And this is the end of this one. Uh, I want to thank you all very much for watching. If you could leave a like rating, if you think I've earned one, and a comment in the comment section, that would be awesome. And I shall see you all next time. Take it easy, guys. Have a good one. Be sure to follow me on Twitter. That way you get all the latest from me, like how many videos I've uploaded, what I had for breakfast, and how much of a hangover I had last Saturday night.